Hello again everyone, this is Paxton Smith at RealTimeMath.com, your link to live online math help. And in today's arithmetic series video, we are going to look at creating equivalent fractions. So if you want to create an equivalent fraction, in this case I've already specified what we'd like to uh, turn it into on the bottom. What we're going to do is create a fraction that is exactly the same value as the one you started with. So if you were to take a calculator, and divide 3 by 8, the answer we get for the equivalent fraction, when you put it in your calculator, will be the exact same decimal. So we are wanting to create equivalent fractions so that we can add and subtract fractions with different denominators. And we call these unlike fractions. Denominator, remember, is the number on the bottom, and the numerator is the number on the top. So in this case, we've already specified that we want to get 64 as our new denominator. Well, you're going to want to ask yourself, how do I turn 8 here into 64? And you could use a calculator, trial and error, maybe you already know. You're going to want to do 8 times 8. So, you go in here, and you do a little times 8 on the bottom, and that gives you 64. Now remember with fractions, anything you do to the bottom, you also need to do the exact same thing to the top. Otherwise, you will not end up with an equivalent fraction at the end. It will be different. So I also go in here and put a times 8 right there. And we go ahead and compute it. We see that 8 times 8 is 64, and that's what we want on the bottom. And then we go 3 times 8 gives us 24 on top. And there you have it. We've just created an equivalent fraction. And we now know, because we use the exact same number to multiply top and bottom, we now know that 3 eighths is exactly equivalent to 24 64 So that's how you make an equivalent fraction. Tune in to the next video where we're going to look at simplifying fractions. And after that, we'll look at adding and subtracting unlike fractions. That is, fractions with different denominators. Thanks for tuning in today. Go to RealTimeMath.com to check out live online tutoring classes with me, Paxton Smith. Take care. And we'll see you soon.